Minnesota Fine Vikings made a change in general manager this morning after Prete Ricke Spielman was shown the door after 16 years with the team. Uh, he put out a very classy exit statement, and this is what it said. Egan, Minnesota, January 10th. 2022 day that will live in infamy i'm honored to have been part of the minnesota vikings organization he forgot the fighting part uh, and this incredible community for the past 16 years uh, the people of the state welcomed me and my family and treated us with the utmost respect throughout our tenure michelle and i credited many special memories created nailed it uh, many special memories with our children here and we'll always consider minnesota our home and yeah you think about it where in this industry it's very rare to stay someplace for as long as Spielman did. And his family grew, his kids grew up here, and like you said, this will always be home for them. And the profession for coaches and executives and scouts, it is very transient. Like, you are hired to be fired. So the fact that he was able to settle here for nearly two decades and raise uh, his kids so they can go to the same school and have the same friends. That's extremely, exceedingly rare uh, in this industry. Uh, Vikings fans, you are some of the most passionate in all of sports. Uh, the tremendous game day atmosphere and home field advantage at U.S. Bank Stadium is because of each of you. Uh, there is nothing like the emotions we share together at kickoff every, each Sunday where Spielman is like, all right, how is the coaching staff going to screw up my players today? And Vikings fans are like, all right, here we go. Here we go. What What's going to go wrong? Where is the banana peel? Just now. Uh, to the Vikings players, coaches, and staff, I sincerely appreciate your tireless efforts to win and your dedication to this community and the fan base. There are so many talented people throughout this organization, and because of that, the Vikings will continue to be uh, a special place in the future. I mean, yeah, hopefully the new GM, new coach, new staff, new players they, br they bring in will get the ball over the goal line because the Vikings just plateaued a little bit. Uh, finally, I want to thank Ziggy and Mark Wilf and the entire Wilf family for believing in me and consistently providing the resources for us to be successful as a football operations staff. It is not common in the NFL to be in a position for this long, which goes to show how this ownership group uh, believes in stability and supports their leaders. Yes, we said that about the Wilfs. Maybe even to a fault, they're too, uh, they are exceedingly patient. They will hire who they think to be good people. They will let them work. They will shell out for stadium, for facilities. TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill is among the best in the league. So, yeah. And, but over the last two years, uh, yeah, yeah, not so much. While today is emotional, I wish the Minnesota Vikings and Vikings fan nothing uh, but future success. That is until Spielman takes the Bears GM job. I'm calling it right now. I'm putting my on the table. Rick Spielman was their director of college scouting or director of pro personnel, one of the two, from 97 to 99. So he knows Hallis Hall. He knows Bears ownership. He knows the fan base. He's going to go there and take that job. And like, by God, that's Rick Spielman's music. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to hire Leslie Frazier. That's right. The former cornerback on the 85 Bears Super Bowl shuffle. I, I think he tore his ACL in the Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, the, the Bears, uh, uh, former Bears, a great is coming home, and the cats and the cradle and the silver spoon. And guess what? Pretty Ricky, Leslie Frazier, they're coming for Minnesota. They're going to burn Utica to the ground. It's going to be great, man. It's going to be great. Or I, I don't know. I don't know what Spielman's going to do. Well, he could maybe he'll go to Denver. Maybe he'll consult with George Payton and Kelly Klein. Maybe he'll go to Detroit, man. Uh, he actually started his scouting career with the Lions, I believe. Back in the day. Uh, of course, his brother, uh, Chris, is uh, ha has some sort of power and pull in Detroit now. So maybe he'll consult with Chris Spielman and Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, biting kneecaps and everything. I don't know. But, yeah, it, this is a very classy statement. It's a very classy way for Rick Spielman to go out. And I, I'll, I'll miss Rick. Yeah, I, I've said I'm a Rick apologist. I think that he's done some good things here in Minnesota. He had a lot of hits. He also had a couple of misses. But at the end of the day, the Vikings decided to make a change because, uh, again, don't let good be the enemy of great. Even though Spielman was great at times over the last two years, they simply have not got it done, and that's why they need a new beginning. But uh, your thoughts are our thoughts. Rick Spielman, exit statement. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.